Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Oh, well, you see how that worked out. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. All right, Max Payne, take your take your painkillers. Delicious. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. All right. Woo! So episode six, right? I heard there were six episodes in the game. And it fucking better be. This game's getting long. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. TiVo, for fuck's sake. God damn it. <laughs> Why would you leave that on the fucking answering machine that they both use, you idiot? Yes, I'm. Oh, turn on the TV. I was gonna head outside. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. God, look at that fucking so green good screen. Good <laughs> I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this wow. is a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? The same reason I killed Dumbledore. He kept shitting all over himself. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No. Nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... 
You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. There it is. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. And Who the fuck is Sam Lake? At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. You know what? A part of me was about to be like, man, I'm glad I can make up that fast. But then also, she was planning this trip behind his back so he can get treatment. So... <laughs> I can't I'm tell if that was a nice moment or not. Jesus. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm yeah. sorry, Sarah, but I, I gotta do this do by this myself. Alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good, Barry. You're gonna be safe in here. That's all that matters. Okay, See you later. You're a good friend, Barry. You're a good friend. You're not just like a... It's nice that he's not like just a manager, right? Like he's a good friend. He's like, dude, I know me and your wife don't get along, but I'm, I'm gonna help you. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page... I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. But don't stop in your car, keep fucking going. <laughs> you got all this daylight, man. It should not be nighttime by the time you reach there. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just get your ass to the cabin now, dude. You got the nighttime just finished. You just got out. You gotta get there. The darkness has gotten so powerful that now it can activate itself in the daytime. I want to stop to see if there's like any. Okay, there's gotta. All right. It's gotta be like some flares or something. What do I got on me? Okay, I still got my flashbangs. That's nice. It'd be nice if I had like a flare gun or some shit though. Like at least one. But like a final fuck you, you know? Alright, now I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep driving my damn car. I 
what the fuck is this? <sighs> Damn it. You're gonna make me go through some fucking dark, dark ass, dank ass passageway, aren't you? I thought that was a ramp. I thought that was a ramp. Am I not going down there? Do I gotta get out my car? I wanna get out of my car. I feel safe in my car. Alright, I gotta get out the car. Lose the car just to get just to get back over there. It'll be faster. Alrighty. Oh, hey, oh, come on. Car does not control as good as you think it does. <laughs> Gotta walk on through. The darkness used any fucking opportunity it could, huh? The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. I will kill your wife. Yeah, that sounds like a sounds like a thing you shouldn't do, you know? Ah, damn it, I missed. Ah, fuck. I pressed the dodge button. Come on, I know I did. Alright. Really, darkness? All it took was a little bit and then you made it nighttime? Are you fucking kidding me? The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the Rider so he could create the ending it wanted. The Rider knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the Darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the Rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. I'm gonna jump in the water and start clicking the clicker. You bitch. Oh, I'm pressing the square button. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, why aren't you opening the fucking car? Come on! Don't give a shit. Get out of my way. Beep beep, motherfucker! I ain't stopping for shit that I don't have to stop for. Alright. Guess I gotta stop for this. Come on. It's gotta be something good in there. Something that I need. This alone right here might be good enough. Batteries, ball ammo. Oh, come on. There we go. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Hmm, I'm not reading that. We're near the end of the game. I'm not reading that. What the hell? Coffee thermos. Is that it? Do I gotta hit the room number two? Nightingale. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Flashbangs. You in here, buddy? Look after yourself, man. You workers. Ah, fuck. You could have fooled me, pal. Four. 
4 is locked. 5 is locked. Okay. How about you just... How about you just die? Make it back to my damn car. I see a ramp. Only thing to do... Jump it. That was lame. That was kind of wimpy. Oh shit. Do I gotta go on foot? Is there another way? Can I go through here? Probably not. Yep, I gotta go on foot. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, if I'm getting out of the fucking car, then you guys gotta die. Sorry. You just don't. How about you just stay? Okay, never mind. How about you help me, Light? You're shining for a reason. What the hell? Oh, fuck. Really? You can't move the box out the way, Wake? And now I have no... Now I have no fucking stamina to run. Great. No, that's fine. It's great. Great. It's great. It's great. No, that's great. No, that's great. That's fine. It's great. Great. You know, you know? Not like your life is at stake or anything. You know? You know. Sorry, your legs just hurt, so you just you just stop running. No, don't worry. I'll, I'll let the axe murderer just stab me. He can have this one. I'll take the L. It's fine. Also doesn't help that like this stuff is still active while you're making Alan go, whoa! I can't believe it! And now I'm stuck. And now I am now I am stuck. Wait. I am completely stuck. Uh-huh. Yep. This is where I live now. Great. God man. I still think this game is better than Evil Within, the first one at least, but damn, dude. <laughs> Gets to a point where you're just like, fuck this. Like, come on. Oh, that was a flashbang. I am so sorry. I didn't do that. Just wasted that completely. Whoa! It's all shaky! So what? Oh, so I'm not supposed to go in there? Or something? What am I supposed to fucking do then? Great. Fucking fantastic. Jesus. Guess I'm just gonna have to waste my fucking flashbangs then. I got like a flare gun or anything, right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just gonna have- I'm just gonna have to waste my fucking flashbangs. Because the flare doesn't do shit. And I'm guessing the flashbangs would be strong enough to actually do something worth a damn.
Oh no, Alan. What the hell? I guess that's what I do. Nope, still got tires and shit going. I threw a flashbang. I don't know where it went. Fuck's sake. <sighs> that was terrible. That was terrible. That was fucking horrible. Wow. Fuck you. Is that a fucking monster truck? What was that? Really? Come on. The light's here, motherfucker. Are you fucking up my car down there? Guess I go this way? I think? Isn't this where I came from? Maybe? No, I think I'm moving the right way. Yeah, I am. Okay. The main script page? No, it's just a car. Into a rock. Now you gotta go on foot, buddy. Can I go through? Nope, I gotta go through a little bit. Just a little bit. Nope, now you gotta go on foot. Oh shit. I would like to have a flare gun, please.
Guessing I'm gonna be chased by a lot of guys. Which is why I gotta do something like this, right? Uh oh. Alright, dude. Can you know, give me two seconds? Oh, wow. I gotta reload. He just fucking comboed me. What? Alright, so why put the explosives there if you're gonna also send a shit ton of people in front of me? What's the point? What's the point, man? What's the point? Ah, that was my fault. What's the point? I'm just saying, if I'm supposed to be doing shit like... Like, ah, fuck, I fucked that up. If I'm supposed to be doing shit like, oh, save me, and then they get hit by the explosives, right? Oh, see, now the explosives want to be, like, super fast about it. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. All right. This game went from, like, a fucking solid eight, maybe, to, like, a goddamn six real fast. <laughs> like, fuck. So what's the point of putting the barrels there if, if this is what I gotta do, right? What's the point? Why make it seem like they're a good choice? But they're not. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed. Game went back to an eight. <laughs> the dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned and didn't even notice. Alrighty. Man, I did not realize how fucking far away we were from this goddamn cabin. Wasn't this game supposed to be like open world originally? I honestly want to play Control after this, so I hope you learned your lesson and you made a better game. <laughs> Fuck. Still loving Alec Wake. Alec? Still loving Alan Wake, but still, oh my god, there's just some things that you were pissing me off with. How about you just, uh, how about you just, uh, how about you just, uh, I know fucking business, huh? I'm happy that you missed that. There's no warning given about you being here. Ah, are you fucking kidding me? Why would you... Uh, why is it like that? At least I got one more ammo for the flare gun, but still. Why is it even like that? Why would you assume that, like, the all-powerful weapon is the first thing you would want me to equip? Why would you even change mine? My gun that's equipped. I still don't know what these coffee things do. I still don't know. We're, we're near the end of the game and I still don't know what the fuck the coffee does. How much ammo do I have? Well, hunting rifle it is. I had to get the gate open. I forgot. I forgot about the switch. Where is it? Oh, it's got to be upstairs. And here it is. 
Somebody downstairs, it sounds like there's like footsteps, yep. Alright. Eh, there's a new car, I'll take it. drive through here to fucking get to the cabin? Are you kidding me? Like this, this area became like a real fucking video game ass area real fast. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Oh. Man, Zane really took a risk, huh? He said, I'm put the diver suit on. This battery is fueled by my life force. Where's this gonna take me? Okay. Sound like somebody jumped the fence or something. Yep. Uh huh. Let's see about that. Really? One hit fucked me over? Okay. Well, at least I'm trapped. Nothing can get me here. I am perfectly safe. Take that, idiot. Come on. Can't hit it with the light. Are you kidding me? There we go. What did that do? Did that open a gate or something? Well, I can't use the car, so... I'm just gonna... hoof it? Must be gone. I pressed the button. I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I 
think I'm supposed to be going back where I came, but like... Where's the button over there? What if the... Oh, it lifted that up. shamble my way on through. Thank you for the car. I feel like I just went in a big fucking circle. But technically I guess not. back in the well-lit room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she my was My wife. In. Follow. I will. Another cash over there? Maybe. Hmm. Alright, I'm guessing that's as far as I need to push it. Revolver ammo. Seem anything seem like anything's in there, right? Turn that on. I will never give her to you. That seems like a you problem. Good. Now you made it a me problem. Ow! What the f all right. I thought I thought they were gonna give me time to make a run for it. Honestly, I still got my flare guns, right? Yeah, I do. I'm a chef, chef too. 